Good day and welcome to puzzle number 22. What number should replace the question mark? The numbers in the puzzles are as follows. In the first row, we have 6, 8 and 15. In the second row, we have 7, 10 and 12. And in the final row and the third row, we have 4, 11 and the question mark. If you want to have a go at this puzzle, press the pause button now. But if you want to know the solution, keep watching. Welcome back to the solution of puzzle number 22. What number should replace the question mark? In the first row, we have 6, 8, 15. Second row, 7, 10, 12. And in the final row, we have 4, 11 and a question mark. So what is the value of the question mark in this puzzle? So without further ado, let's solve this puzzle. So you look at the numbers, they are all uh, jumbled up. So you can 6, 8, 15, 7, 10, 12, 4, 11, question mark. It looks most likely that you're going to work in terms of row because 6, 8, and 5, you go to 15, 7, 10, you go to 12, and 4, 11, you go to a question mark because the biggest number are all at the right hand side because if you go in terms of column 6, 7, 4, 8, 10, 11, 15, 12 and a question mark it doesn't make much sense so in fact it is working on the row so 6, 8, 15 it doesn't mean that it has to be 6 and 8 to give you 15 or 7, 10 you go to 12 the trick it is this is an easy question if you can get it okay so if you look at the row 6 8 and 15, when you add them up together, 6 plus 8 is 14, 14 plus 15, the total is going to be 29. Similarly, if you have 7, 10 and 12, the total 7 and 10 is 9, 17, 17 plus 12 is also going to be 29. So the trick here, the question mark, the add 4 plus 11 plus the question mark must also be 29. So 4 plus 11 is 15, 29 minus 15, the question mark have to be 29 minus 15 and the question mark is equal to 14. I believe most of you will get it right because you guys are geniuses and I'll see you in the next one. Follow for more. Cheers.